<laughs> How do you write a hardship letter that resonates with lenders or creditors? How do you make sure your story is not just heard, but understood? That's why I want us to dive into the details of crafting a hardship letter that can truly make a difference for you. Because it feels like the pen is in your hand and it feels heavy and the words just aren't coming out. You know what's at stake and yet finding the right way to express your situation seems almost impossible. The truth is that writing a hardship letter can be one of the most difficult and personal tasks you'll ever face. But you know what? It can also be the key to unlocking financial relief and a bright future. The hardship letter is pivotal when applying for a short sale, a loan modification, a forbearance, and during a foreclosure, especially during this process. This is why I want to help you dive into the details of crafting a hardship letter that can truly make a difference and we'll do it in five easy steps to follow. Are you ready? Let's do it. Step one, start with the basics. Who, what, and why. Your hardship letter should begin with a clear introduction that provides the essential information. This includes your name, your address, and the account or loan number that's related to your situation. More importantly, it should immediately explain the purpose of the letter. This can be very difficult for some people. I know what I'm talking about because it was very difficult for me to learn how to help my clients write a hardship letter when we were applying for short sales for them. But you know what? After I've done it so many times, I already perfected it and that will give you a sample if you stay to the end of this video. So let's look at an example of how this would sound like. Dear Lender, my name is Aspir Popolevsky and I am writing to explain the current financial difficulties that have impacted my ability to meet my mortgage payments. I am seeking your understanding and assistance in working through this challenging time. Right from the start, we're establishing a connection by being transparent and straightforward in our approach. Now, step two, we need to paint the picture and explain our situation next. We need to dive into the specifics of your personal hardship. This is where you tell your heartfelt story and what led you to this point. The key here is to be honest, detailed, but also concise. You want the reader to understand your situation without getting lost in unnecessary details. Here's how this can sound like. In the month of August of year 2024, I was laid off from my job due to company-wide downsizing. Despite my best efforts to secure new employment, I was unable to find a position with comparable income, which led to a significant decrease in my household earnings. As a result, I have fallen behind on my mortgage payment. Here you're not just stating that you're having trouble, you're also explaining why and you're giving context to your situation. Step three, we need to show our efforts and what have we done to improve our situation, right? So creditors and lenders appreciate knowing that you're actively trying to resolve your situation and not just sitting idle and doing nothing. So outlining the steps you've taken to improve your financial circumstances, even if they haven't fully worked out yet, is very important. So let's have an example. I have cut down on non-essential expenses and have been actively applying for jobs. I also took on a part-time role to generate some income, but it has not been enough to cover all my obligations. Additionally, I've sought financial counseling to better manage my budget, etc. This demonstrates responsibility and commitment to finding a solution. Step number four is make your request. What is it that you need at this time? Be clear about what you're asking for. Are you asking for a loan modification, a temporary reduction in payments, or some other form of relief? You just need to state it plainly. So for example, I'm kindly requesting a loan modification that would allow me to make reduced payments for the next six months, let's say. This would provide me with the time I need to stabilize my financial situation and get back on track with my mortgage. 
much. Now your request should be realistic and considerate of both your needs and the lender's potential response. We need to think this through. Okay, step number five, you need to close with gratitude and positivity and your letter on a positive note, expressing gratitude for the consideration of your request. And this leaves the reader with a favorable impression of you and your intentions. So for example, I truly appreciate your time and understanding in reviewing my situation. I am committed to working together to find a solution that benefits both parties. And I am hopeful that we can reach an agreement that allows me to remain in my home. We all want to be able to keep our home and we don't want to lose it to a foreclosure. So keep it professional and proofread it. Remember, this is a one shot, one opportunity to submit your hardship letter. Spend lots of time on this before you send your hardship letter. Make sure it's polished. Keep the tone professional and avoid emotional language that could come across as overly dramatic. You need to be well organized. It needs to be clearly written and a written letter can go a long way in conveying your seriousness and sincerity. A hardship letter is more than just a plea for help. It's your opportunity to tell your story and show that you're taking proactive steps to overcome your challenges by being honest, clear, and respectful. You increase your chances of receiving the assistance you need. Remember, the goal is not only to explain your hardship, but also to demonstrate your commitment to actually resolving it as best as you can. Writing a hardship letter can feel overwhelming, but remember, you're not alone in this process. I'm here by following these steps and staying clear, honest, and professional. You can actually create a letter that truly conveys your situation and helps you move forward and a resolution. And to make things even easier for you, I've created a simple hardship letter that you can download and use as a template. Just click the link below to get started. And if you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel here for more tips and advice on navigating the financial and real estate challenges. We're here to support you every step of the way. Also hit that like button and share this with anyone who might need it very much. Thank you for watching. And as always, if you have any questions or need further assistance, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help.